and Paul Kagame. As well as First Lady Shannon Kagame. Excellency, Your Excellency, if you allow me, we will continue to receive our guests for the day.
Son Excellence, Monsieur Andrew. His Excellency Andrina Rajolina, President of the Republic of Madagascar, and the First Lady. Let us welcome Botswana. His Excellency Mokwetsi Eric Kebetswe Masisi, President Come of on. the Republic of Botswana. Let us now welcome Ethiopia. Her Excellency Sarle Wok Zerde, President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Welcome to this ceremony. Thank you. 
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, uh, my name is Jean-Bernard Mokuradinda. I'm here with uh, my colleague Elodie Chami as today's AMCs. Your Excellency, on this day when you take your oath of office before Rwandans who elected you massively for a five-year mandate, and as you will be taking your oath of office before the Friends of Rwanda. We are honored as Rwandans to have elected you, which proves uh, how we are very democratic and as per the Constitution of Rwanda. Your Excellency, uh, today's ceremony is an opportunity to reflect on uh, what we've achieved and to safeguard those as we put in office the leadership that we need. Last month, Rwandans at home and abroad took to the polling stations in the millions to exercise their constitutional right to choose their leader. And today, we celebrate that choice. As a nation, we have been inspired to work hard to preserve the integrity of our history while securing a better future for generations to come. The, the dignity we were once stripped of has been restored, and we have resolved that we will not lose it ever again. Randons have seen your impassioned advocacy for our nation, our region, and our continent, and how that has led to real opportunities for better lives. Because of this and much more, Rwandans renew their trust in you. This journey we have taken together will only get better with time, and we are all ready to play our part. Excellence, mesdames et messieurs. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, thank you for being here at this uh, swearing-in ceremony. Uh, inauguration ceremony of Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda. Rwandans take pride in this, and uh, your presence here testifies to your friendship, and we're grateful for that. We are privileged to have with us heads of state and government, friends of Rwanda, and many other distinguished guests. Please allow me to invite our Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation to introduce and welcome them. Your Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, and Madam First Lady Jeanette Kagame, Excellencies Heads of State and Government, Heads of Delegation, Your Excellencies Heads of International Organizations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are truly honored to warmly welcome all of you as we gather to witness the swearing-in of the President of the Republic of Rwanda following the successful presidential elections held on 14th and 15th of July 2024. Rwandans are happy that the elections were conducted smoothly both within our borders and among the Rwandan community living abroad. Excellence, mesdames et messieurs, alors que nous Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to begin this new chapter, I wish to extend our sincere and heartfelt appreciation to all the brotherly countries and friends of Rwanda who continue to stand with us on our path to development. We look forward to continuing our collaboration in the years to come. Several leaders of partner nations whose presence underscores the bonds of friendship and cooperation that we share. Please join me in recognizing their presence. His Majesty, King Mswati III, Head of State and Ingwenyama of the Kingdom of Eswatini, as well as Inkosikati Make Lamashwama. His Excellency Denis Sasungeso, 
President of the Republic of Congo. His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, President of the Republic of Djibouti. His Excellency Four Esozima Nyasimbe, President of the, to the Republic of Togo. His Excellency Salvakir Mayardit, President of the Republic of South Sudan and Chairperson of the East African Community. His Excellency Felipe Jacinto Nusi, President of the Republic of Mozambique. His Excellency Faustin Archange Toadera, President of the Central African Republic. His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Joao Manuel Gonçalves Lorenzo, President of the Republic of Angola. His Excellency Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, President of the Republic of Zimbabwe. His Excellency Mokweti Masisi, President of the Republic of Botswana. Her Excellency Saleh Wok Zewde, President of the, of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. His Excellency Andri Nirina Rajolina, President of the Republic of Madagascar, and Madam First Lady. His Excellency Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Buran, Abderrahman Al Buran, President of the Transitional Sovereignty Council of the Republic of the Sudan. His Excellency Umaro Sisoko Mbalo, President of the Republic of Guinea Bissau. His Excellency Waver Ramkalawan, President of the Republic of Seychelles. Mheshimiwa Samia Suluhu Hassan, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Mungano wa Tanzania. Her Excellency Samia Lusulu Larsan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. His Excellency Lieutenant General Mamadi Dumbuya, President of the Republic of Guinea. President of the Federal Republic of Somalia. His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. The Right Honorable Samuel Nsokoane Matekane, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Lesotho. His Excellency Patrice Emery Trovoada, Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe. His Excellency Brigadier General Brice Oligi Ngema, President of the Transition of Gabon. His Excellency Usman Sonko, Prime Minister of the Republic of Senegal. Your Excellencies, allow me to also pay special tribute to the high-level representatives of the heads of states and government, to former presidents present among us, and to the leaders of international organizations. Elkoni, Vice President of the Presidential Council of the State of Libya. Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, Vice President of the, of the Republic of Uganda and Spouse. <laughs> H 
His Excellency Tiemoko Meliet Kone, Vice President of the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire. The Right Honorable Michael Biswik Usi, Vice President of the Republic of Malawi. His Excellency Brahim Bugali, President of the National People's Assembly of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria. His Excellency Mr. Salama Ali Salem Hama, President of the Saharawi National Council. His Excellency, the former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Olis Olusegun Obasanjo. His Excellency, the former Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Mr. Hale Mariam de Salen. His Excellency, Mr. Musa Faki Mahamat, Chairperson of the African Union Commission. Her Excellency, Madame Louise Mushikiwabo, Secretary General of the Francophonie. Her Excellency, Veronica Mwenindouva, Secretary General of the East African Community. His Excellency, Mr. Gilberto da Piedade Verissimo, President of the Economic Community of Central African States Commission. Her Excellency, Chileche Mpundu Kapwepwe, Secretary General of the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa. <laughs> Excellencies, uh, I would also like to recognize the following high level officials delegated by their heads of state. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Arab Republic of Egypt. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Equatorial Guinea. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Mali. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Gambia. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Zambia. Her Excellency, the Minister in the Presidency for Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation of the Republic of South Africa. His Excellency, the President of the Higher Council for Education, Training and Scientific Research, of the Kingdom of Morocco. His Excellency, the High Commissioner of the Republic of Mauritius. His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Union of the Comoros. Finally, I wish to acknowledge the presence of high level officials from foreign political parties of the following countries. The People's Republic of China. La du Congo. The Republic of Congo. The Republic of Uganda. The Republic of South Sudan. The United Republic of Tanzania. The Central African Republic. The Republic of Cuba. And the Republic of Angola. 
We extend our gratitude for your presence in this special occasion. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Asante Nisana Murakoze. Thank you to Minister Olivier Nduhundirehe for welcoming our guests. I'd like to announce our translation channels, English on channel one, Le Français à la chaîne 2, Arabic, channel three, Portuguese, channel four, Itinyarwanda, channel five. We thank the Minister of Foreign Affairs for introducing our guests. Let's give them another round of applause. Now is the key moment uh, for today's swearing-in ceremony. We request the Chief Justice uh, Nezirya Faustin, who's going to preside over <coughs> this ceremony. Swearing in ceremony of the President of the Republic of Rwanda, which will be administered by the Chief Justice Dr. Nezirya Faustin. Square, where? I, Nezirya Faustin, Chief. Justice, after having uh, realized that uh, His Excellency Paul Kagame was elected President of the Republic of Rwanda, having seen that all that's required by the law has been fulfilled, respected, and based on the Constitution of the Republic of Rwanda, in its uh, Article 102, uh, which says that the president elect takes oath of office before the chief justice, we are delighted to invite His Excellency Paul Kagame to take his oath of office. I, Kagame Paul, do solemnly swear to Rwanda that I will remain lawyer to the Republic of Rwanda, observe and defend the Constitution and other laws, diligently fulfill responsibilities entrusted to me, preserve peace and na national sovereignty, consolidate national unity, never use the powers conferred upon me for personal interests, strive for the interests of all Rwandans. Should I fail to honor this oath, may I be subjected to the rigors of the law. So help me God. will now proceed to signing the Certificate of Inauguration. President 
the Chief Justice is going to give His Excellency the President of the Republic the symbols, the national symbols, the Constitution, the flag, and the seal of the Republic of Rwanda. Now proceed to present His Excellency the President of the Republic of Rwanda with state symbols, which include the Constitution, the flag, and the coat of arms. The Commander-in-Chief of the Rwanda Armed Forces, no, the, the, the Commander of the Rwanda's Army is going to give the Commander-in-Chief the symbols for the protection of uh, the country's sovereignty. And right now, the President of the Republic is going to receive the national anthem as one of the symbols of the country. We request the Army Chief of Staff to uh, direct the President where he is going to be standing. We're going to hear a 21-gun salute as a symbol of respect for the president of the country, for, for the president of Rwanda. And uh, together we'll sing our national anthem. Those in uniform will salute, others will stand up. National anthem. Bear number one, fire! Bear number two, fire! Bear number three, fire! Bear number four, fire! Bear number one, fire! Bear number two, fire! Bear number three, fire! Bear number four, fire! Bear number one, fire! Bear number two, fire! Bear number three, fire! Bear number four, fire! Bear number, Bear number one, fire! Bear number two, fire! Bear number three, fire! Bear number four, fire! Bear number one, fire! Bear number two, fire! Bear number three, fire! Bear number four, fire! Number four.
Your Excellency, President of the Republic and Commander-in-Chief, this parade is presented by the Army and the Police with 12 sections, the, the Army Band and the Flag Segment, the nine lines each section. They are ready to be inspected by you, Brigadier General Jur Wirangira, Parade Commander, Your Excellency. Those in the pavilion, you may be seated. His Excellency, the President of the Republic and uh, Commander in Chief, on the request of the parade commander, is going to inspect the parade for he authorizes them to march. He is accompanied by uh, the Chief of Staff, General Mubarak Muganga, and Commissioner of Police, Felix Namuharangi.
Your Excellency, this is the end of the inspection. So allow for the parade to start. Thank you. Let's thank the President of the Republic for authorizing the parade to start marching. You may be seated.